Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Jake Ludington here at OSCON, and we're on one of the days that is dedicated to data and Java. And I'm here with... I'm Nosh Petigara, and I work at Tengen. Uh, I'm the director of product strategy for MongoDB. And for people who may not know, what is MongoDB? Uh, MongoDB is an open source, non-relational database that fits into what's been called the NoSQL database space. Uh, it's a very easy to use database, it scales out really well and deals with uh, both structured and unstructured data uh, very simply. So you say very simply with structured and unstructured data, can you, can you unpack that for me a little bit? How does, how does Mongo um, deal with data differently than um, say using MySQL or uh, Postgres? Certainly. Well, instead of storing your data in tables and rows, you store it in what we call documents, which are JSON data structures, uh, which are very easy to use and don't have a predefined schema. Uh, so you can store data uh, in a simple structure. You can pack it with arrays and embedded documents and place that in the database and query that back very easily. So if I'm used to the world of scaling up, uh, say, like a MySQL database by adding more CPU, more memory, um, more horsepower essentially um, to a machine. How does Mongo differ in terms of scalability? Uh, with Mongo you can scale out horizontally which means you can add multiple machines, commodity machines to a cluster and MongoDB will automatically take advantage of the combined CPU, RAM and disks of those. Uh, so instead of having to buy more and more expensive boxes you can just have commodity hardware and add more of those to your cluster as you need them. In terms of being able to do something like a traditional join statement in a relational database, how does, how does Mongo handle that or does it handle that? Uh, Mongo, like many of the NoSQL or non-relational databases, don't have a concept of joins because those are really difficult to do across large clusters. Um, instead of doing joins, you build your data structures in JSON um, and those can have uh, embedded documents within those or arrays of data within those. So you're you can actually pack in a lot more data into one document which helps uh, uh, you not have to use as many joins uh, as you would in a traditional relational database. So one of the arguments that I have heard um, very recently against using a NoSQL type solution like MongoDB is that if you're not planning to have tons and tons of data in the future, you might as well just build your uh, application using MySQL or Postgres and then port it over later when you actually need it. Does, does that really make sense? Um, no, not necessarily. I think there are some uh, applications which are a really good fit for relational databases. If you need a lot of joins um, or your data is relational in nature, then go ahead and use a relational database. But what people are finding out that uh, using these schema-free documents is a much easier and more agile way to develop your application. So you actually can uh, write your application with less code, uh, write it quicker and iterate it much uh, faster with MongoDB. So we see people even with small applications going uh, for MongoDB. Excellent. And then what about on, on the other end of the spectrum? Let's say I have a legacy application uh, that is built in Oracle. Uh, w would I ever want to move away from Oracle and use something like MongoDB? Uh, does, that, does that even make sense? Yep, certainly. I mean, if you look at sort of over the last 20 years, relational databases have been the only sort of data storage tool available. Um, so tons and tons of data have been packed into relational databases that are not necessarily a good fit for that. So we see a lot of people actually moving portions of their data out into MongoDB. So you sort of have this combined system with a relational database that stores a portion of it, uh, and then a non-relational database like MongoDB that actually often stores you know, maybe a large majority of the data. Do you not feel bad at all that Larry might not be able to buy a new yacht as a result of your product? Uh, well, we're hoping that we can buy some yachts. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, thanks for your time, Nash. Yep. Thanks a lot. Locker Gnome coverage of OSCON is brought to you by HP.